dear fifth semester csc stream with you students i welcome you all into my another video hope you are all doing well so let me discuss over here the passing package for you for the particular subject bcs 502 is the subject code and the subject name is computer networks most of the students were demanding for the passing package right so first of all let us discuss over here the important questions from your module first some super important questions over here define data communication and its essential components differentiate between LAN, man and van with examples what do you mean by computer networks discuss the various types of networks and their applications and remember my dear friends this is the past module where you can easily grab more than 15 marks define protocol layering and explain its advantages explain the layers of the tcp slash ip protocol suit with their functions what are the key differences between the osi and tcp slash ip models or simply they will ask you sometimes briefly explain osi model next one is differentiate between guided and unguided media and last one we have here compare packet switching with circuit switching okay so this is all about module first so second module is somehow the combination of theoretical portions as well as numerical portions so as far as numericals are concerned you should refer the previous year question papers of the 2018 scheme and 2021 scheme so we have here the theoretical portions like explain the significance of error detection and correction in the data link layer what is cycle redundancy check crc explain it's working with an example and next one what is framing explain its importance and types explain high level data link control hdlc protocol and its uh, modes of operation next super important one explain a random access techniques such as aloha including pure and slotted aloha csma and csma slash cd define media access control mac and explain its importance and next one we have explain the working of the point to point protocol ppp discuss the frame structure of ppp and explain its fields and here i have written down the note uh, you should practice the numerical problems from the previous year question papers so the topics will be crc and check some problems will be there so kindly refer previous year question papers for these two topics next one we have module third explain the services provided by the network layer compare ipv4 and ipv6 addressing uh, or datagram formats explain a distance vector routing and link state routing with examples discuss rip and ospf protocols with their working principles and describe the structure and working of ipv4 datagram and uh, next one we have explained the concept of packet switching and differentiate between virtual circuit and datagram approaches. so write a short notes on mospf that is multicast open shortest path first and its importance in multicast routing show how to form the least cost tree using a digixtra algorithm with an example write a program for bellman ford algorithm so this is all about your module third now coming to the module four we are having here super important questions like compare and contrast tcp and udp protocols with respect to their features reliability and applications and sometimes they may ask you the advantage of disadvantages of both these tcp and udp next one we have explained the three-way handshake mechanism for establishing a tcp connection draw and explain the tcp segment format in detail explain tcp's congestion control mechanisms including slow start and congestion avoidance how does tcp ensure flow control and error control explain with examples so last three questions we are having what is uh, sorry four questions what is sliding window how is it used in flow control what are the differences between connection oriented and connection less services and explain the steps involving tcp connection termination last one we have defined congestion window and its role in tcp congestion control so coming to the last fifth module over here we have explain the client server model with examples discuss the http protocol its methods and its uh, persistent and non-persistent modes describe the working of dns and the types of dns records and uh, compare and contrast ftp and http protocols in terms of functionality fifth one we are having uh, what are smtp pop3 and imap explain their roles in electronic mail communication differentiate between telnet and ssh write a short note on dns recursive and iterative queries eighth one we have explained the services provided by the transport layer with different protocols explain about web documents and http list the advantages of ssh over 
Computer Net. So these are all super important questions from your subject Computer Networks. As far as model second and third is concerned, you should refer to your question papers for the problematic part. Rest of the theory you can refer these super important questions to pass the examination and also score in this subject. So passing modules are first one, module first is the passing module and module fourth and module fifth one rest of the modules uh, i am not considering in the passing modules just because there are some numerical portions uh, most of the students are not convenient with the numerical part so so better to cover first these three modules first fourth and fifth then uh, you can go through the module second and module third so try to cover all the portions as much as possible you have two days gap for this particular subject and i hope you can do that right so i wish you all the best for your examinations my dear friends make sure you will share this video to all your friends and batchmates thank you